I've created a few videos recently that have gone viral, at least for me. This wasn't by accident or completely luck. There are strategies and techniques that I use. Now let's watch a video that I shot 100% on my iPhone and edited 100% on my iPhone with CapCut. And then we'll come back and I'll break down exactly how I did the edit so you can learn how to use CapCut if you haven't used it before and learn some of the strategies that might help your videos go viral. Choose your filmmaker. I'm gonna show you how I edit a video like this right now using CapCut. So open CapCut and tap new project. This will take you right away to where you can add your video clips or photos. And I know I wanna start the video with her sitting on the couch playing video games. So I'll tap on that and then tap trim. And you can use the yellow handles to change the in and out points of the video. So I know that I want it to start right about here. And then you can tap the little check mark in the lower right hand corner. Now tap add and this puts it onto our timeline. Okay, editing Chadwin here. I realized that I forgot to add a few of the strategies behind why I made some of the edits that I did in the video. The main reason that I went with this intro is that one, a quick moving camera movement tends to do well for viewers. It really catches their attention. And second, women tend to do better as a hook than my face, so that's another reason I chose it. Then I'm gonna tap on the cap cut default ending and tap delete. Tap on the plus sign to add another video clip or photo. And what I need to do is actually add the background for this video. So I'm going to tap on this one and just tap add. And then you can use two fingers to actually scale it up and get it to be just the right size for vertical. You can also rotate it. And there we go, it snapped into place for this vertical video. Tap add overlay to add another video clip or photo on top of the background we just added. So I know I want this one of me in the winter clothing. I'm doing the same method as before where I'm trimming the in and out point. Finding the spot where I'm actually jumping in the air will be my beginning. And then I'm going to trim the ending, make this around seven, eight seconds long. Then you can tap the check mark once you have the exact video clip that you wanna put in the timeline. Then you can scale it up with two fingers again and it'll snap into place, filling the vertical screen. To remove the green background, you want to slide along the bottom here until you find cutout. Tap on that and then tap on chroma key because we're using a green screen. You can use the color selector to select that green background. Now you won't see anything happen right away, so you want to tap on intensity and then move the slider along until you cut out just the right amount of green. You'll kind of want to play with this a bit until you find something that looks good. Don't be too worried if there's some holes in your subject. We're gonna bring all that back. Just tap on shadow and then play with the slider and see what looks best for bringing those areas of the image back. Then tap the check mark and watch it back. This is looking pretty good so far. I'm not actually a big fan of this background, so I'm gonna tap on it and then scroll along the bottom until you find replace and tap on replace so we can swap it out for a different video clip or photo. Just kind of a cool looking stage that I think is perfect for this character selector scene. And you can, of course, scale it up, rotate it, whatever you need. And it's nice because it just snaps right into place. Now, I want to add another video clip on top of the same background. So I'm going to tap on Add Overlay. Then we'll find our next character for the video. Again, tap on Trim. And then we're going to find the end point for this, which will, again, be when my feet are off of the ground because that's when I want to jump into the scene. I'll also trim the end point and then tap the check mark and hit Add. You can change where a video clip is in the timeline by long pressing it and then move it around. You can move it up to different layers. So I'm putting it side by side with this one so that it plays immediately after and it's a really nice clean looking timeline. Now I'm going to repeat the exact same steps that I showed you already to remove the green background and I'm actually going to add every single other character for this video. I'm basically doing the exact same process over and over, going through, trimming the video clips and dropping them into the timeline and then removing the green background. Now that we've built most of the timeline, we want to add some background music. So I'm gonna tap on audio, then tap on sounds, 
And I've actually already found a good track for this, just kind of a video game sounding soundtrack, but there are a ton of different sounds in here that you can search for. I've favorited this one so I can easily find it again later. And now it's on the timeline. You can easily adjust the volume of a clip by selecting it and then tapping volume and moving the slider up or down. Now let's cut off the ending of this song. So I'm gonna to scroll to the end and make sure the audio track is selected and then tap split. Then I'll tap on the part I don't need and tap delete. Next, I actually wanna record a voiceover for this. So I'm gonna tap on audio and then voiceover and then you can hold down the mic button and record your voiceover. Then I'll just listen to the voiceovers back and find the best one. Choose your film. Then you can trim the audio clip down by sliding the handles on the left and right inwards or tap on split and then delete the parts that you don't need. Again, you can move a video or audio clip to anywhere you need in the timeline by long pressing on it and then sliding it along. So I'm gonna bring this to the beginning of the video. Choose your filmmaker. Now I like the way that sounds, but I wanna add a filter to my voice. So I'm gonna tap on voice effects and then you can play with all different ones in here. Choose your filmmaker. That's not it. Let's try Mike Hog. Choose your filmmaker. That's perfect. Now I'm gonna play with just a couple of the sliders. Choose your filmmaker. I've spent a lot of time going over the audio of this video and it's because it's just as important as the video. If you use the right music and even sound effects, it can really make a video do well and pop. So let's take a look at some sound effects now. Now tap on effects so we can find some different cool sound effects. There's all different categories in here, but I'm gonna slide along to transition and see what we can find here. Now press the plus button to add it to your timeline. Let's turn up the volume on this again by going into volume and sliding it up. Now I'm repeating this same process over and over, selecting a few different transition sound effects for every single time a new character pops into the scene. Now to add a transition between the first clip and the second clip, tap on the little white bar in between and just play with a few different options. There are so many different options to choose from and you can also adjust how long they last. I really like this pull in effect. I think it's just perfect for this. All right, now I wanna add the final video clip to this. So I'm gonna hit the plus icon and I already know which take I like. So I'm gonna tap trim and find the in and out point for this. Just moving those yellow handles again. There we go and hit add. Then I'll quickly trim back the timing of the last video clip so there is no overhang. Let's add a transition between these two clips. So tap on the white bar in between. Then just find what you think looks best. I really like the look of this right transition. I'm gonna make it a little bit longer. Let's add another transition effect by tapping on audio and transitions. Then I'm just gonna go through a couple and see what sounds best. I really like that, but let's add a fade out. So you're gonna tap on fade, and then I'm going to just move the slider along and fade it out for a few seconds. And we're gonna fade out the music track as well. One of the last sounds we're gonna add is another music track, and I want this one to sound like Grand Theft Auto, so I'm looking for that. After listening to some more tracks, I realized I should just search for a GTA. You just tap plus to add the track, and then I'm actually going to fade it in. Now I wanna add some on-screen text. So I'm gonna tap on text, and you've got a couple different options here like auto captions, just normal text or text template, which I'm gonna do because that gives you those animated text effects. And there are so many different options and categories to choose from and customize, but I'm looking for something kind of retro that looks like it could be in a video game. I love this one. So now you can just tap on the text and the little pencil icon to edit the text itself. So I'm just gonna give each character its own name. This guy is Nat Geo Jim. Now I'm gonna repeat this same text for all of them. So you can tap on that text and then select copy, and then you can move the text into place for each one. Now I repeated these steps over and over until each of these characters was named with text. Let's add some stickers now by tapping on sticker. And I wanna add a few different little icons or emojis to make it look a little bit more like a video game interface. I'm just using a couple hearts for a health bar. 
Now, the final part of this video game interface is a dead battery. So I just Googled an image of a dead battery and now I'm gonna bring that in as a photo and we're just going to resize it with two fingers. Then I want the video to go black and white at the end. So I'm actually going to select that clip and then tap on split. And then with the last clip selected, I'm gonna go into our filters and I'm just gonna choose one of the black and white filters. When the video is done, tap in the upper right hand corner to begin exporting it. Shouldn't take very long and it's gonna save it to your phone for you so you can do whatever you want with it post it on any social media that you would like. Now you've seen what kind of edits you can do with CapCut, but that's not all. There is a lot more you can do with the app and I'm not gonna deep dive into all of it right now, but I do still wanna show you a few other features that I think are really cool. Let's open CapCut again. And this time, instead of tapping on new project, we're actually gonna tap here in the bottom on template. And there are so many different ones to choose from here. At the top, of course, you've got your trending. So if you wanna make something that also might kind of go viral because it's trending, or you could go with recent holidays like Valentine's Day. They've even got it broken out into things that are working well for Reels, TikTok, and just so many other things. You could find some funny memes, whatever it is, there are so many different templates to choose from. And I love that because I know you might be like me and sometimes you just get that creative block or that writer's block and you don't know what to make. So these templates make it really, really easy to get inspiration or just pull something together really quickly. So I'm actually gonna show you how easy it is and just pick one of these templates right now. Let's choose this one. And so <laughs> it's kind of funny, kind of funny audio. So I'm actually just gonna tap use templates. And then what you have to do is go in and fill these clips. So it's saying select up to 20 clips. All right, now that I've selected my 20 clips for this template, I'm just gonna tap preview and CapCut's gonna do the work here to just fill it into the template. Slay! Slay! That was just so incredibly easy to do. If I had curated those photos and videos a little bit better, it probably would have turned out to be a much cooler video, but for what it is, it's incredible how fast you can make content. So you can see how if you use these templates and you use the right photos and videos, you can make content really quickly every single day. Despite being pretty hesitant to shoot stuff on my iPhone and shoot it vertically, I'm really starting to embrace the mobile filmmaking and editing all on a phone now too. Definitely check out the link in the description below and download it right now. And I wanna say a special thanks to the guys over at CapCut for sponsoring today's video. All right guys, if you wanna see more videos like this, hit subscribe right now, and I'll see you in the comment section of my next short TikTok or reel.